One of the cool things about the Fujifilm cameras, apart from the fantastic cameras there, are the film simulations. The film simulations in Fujifilm cameras are a way to translate the raw camera data and render it into a stylized representation uh, for a final image that we can see. The default film simulation is the Provia, that is good for general purposes. And the cameras include many others like Classic Chrome, that has these muted uh, colors and uh, some um, um, uh, higher contrast. Uh, it also includes the Fujifilm Acros and a bunch of others like Astia or Belvia with more saturated colors. Sometimes when Fujifilm releases a new camera, they create a new film simulation, as was the case with the X-H1 and the Eterna film simulation that is good for video color grading. So let's leave it at Provia. The last, film, the, the last camera that Fujifilm released was the uh, X-T4 and they included a new film simulation called Bleach Bypass. This is called Eterna Bleach Bypass and it's very uh, has a high high contrast. The colors are very desaturated. Uh, it, it's very very distinctive and it's good. It's a it's a good film simulation because it uh, highlights the the shapes more than the more than the color. It's a great film simulation too bring out some uh, some contrast and details. The thing is that this film simulation is only available for the X-T4 camera. Uh, it's not available for any other camera uh, uh, below this version. However, there's a way we can still use this film simulation in our RAW files created with the X-T2. As you can see here, the, the camera model is set to this, but this was uh, this was a picture that I actually made with an XT2, and I'm I'm using the the film simulation the the, the bleach bypass film simulation in Capture One. So we're gonna see now how to do this. We need to install the EXIF tool. This is a, a tool that is free. Uh, I, I have used this in a previous video where I show how to use the classic negative film simulation uh, that, that was uh, available on XT3 cameras, uh, but you can still use the film simulation in Capture One in XT2 files and XT1 files. Actually, if we do this for the, for, if we do this process to use the, the bleach bypass, we'll also have the classic negative film simulation available the one that was shipped with the X-T3. So let's, let's see how we can do it. Once you download and install this, uh, you, you'll get this uh, assistant that will ask you uh, what to install and what to do. Uh, I'm not going to install it because I already have installed it. Uh, once you do that, you have to go to the terminal <coughs> And you have to navigate to the place where you have the raw files that you want to convert. In my case, I have this Capture Nashville uh, folder, and I have a, a bunch of raw files here. These are all the, the, the files that can be seen in the in Capture One. So, I I made a copy of the of this file. And the reason for that, uh, before I, I, I start this process, is that uh, what, we, what we are going to do is use the EXIF tool to modify the data of the raw file. So what we want to do is to change the camera model. Once we change the camera model, uh, we're going to tell uh, Capture One that we are using the the XT4 camera and Capture One will uh, make the film simulations available. So, for example, let's grab another image I have here. Eighteen thirty-seven. 
Yes, I'm gonna go to the terminal. I'm gonna link. I'm gonna link below a blog post where you will have all these commands and uh, and more more information about uh, how to work with this. So the first thing we need to do is to copy and to copy the file. And, and we're gonna do. We're gonna change these numbers. So let me explain what is going on here. These are actually two commands. The first one will copy the original file, the one that we can see in Capture One here, into a new file uh, and with a suffix at the end at the end. And then there's a second command where we are going to use the, the tool we downloaded, Exif tool, and we're gonna use it on the new file and we're gonna set the camera model to be xt4 the reason why i'm doing this in in one pass is that if you just copy the file if you du duplicate it uh, and you keep capture one open capture one will immediately index that new file uh, as one created with an xt4 because you still wouldn't have done this so if we do this in a single step where the computer is going to make it uh, fast enough so that uh, Capture One doesn't index the, the, the previous file with the XT2 data and instead will only index the file when it's already set to XT4, when the camera model is already set to XT4. If, if you prefer to do it in two steps to see that you created the, the file, uh, for example, you will write first this, and then you will write this and hit enter. You will have to shut down Capture One to avoid uh, the to avoid Capture One indexing the file uh, as an XT2. So I'm gonna use the this one liner, and I'm gonna hit enter. It updated the file, and I have the new file here. Let's see, and we can see that the camera model is set to XT4 uh, and now we, if we go to the color tab we'll see that we have the bleach bypass film simulation like we said before we also have the classic negative so now now you can start working with this uh, like as with any other uh, any other uh, camera file. For example, I can even can to, to the previous photo and grab the adjustments and I apply the adjustments and notice that the, since I didn't change the, the, the curve here, that's gonna be the same here. And, and yeah, the, there we have it. It's a, I think it looks great to uh, highlight this hard contrast. Perhaps some, some might complain that uh, we lose a lot of uh, a lot of colors like for example this red color. Maybe we can bring it up a little more. Or maybe this the, the, the sky. And just raise it up a little bit. But in general I think this the classic negative looks super uh, it's a it's a very it's a very interesting film simulation because it's not just the the, the real look of the world but it's uh, it conveys a certain uh, emotion a certain uh, a certain stand uh, of appreciating the, more the shapes than the than the colors maybe. so there you have it if you just want to create a, another one for example let's try this one you just have to repeat the, the same process. The, the name of this one is 1839. And we can, we can replace the numbers here. I'm gonna hit enter. And there it is. Notice that since it's always a, a new file that is not uh, indexed by Capture One, uh, 
doesn't have the any of the processing from the any adjustment from the previous one but as shown before you can easily apply the adjustments and now we have the the bleach bypass and and that's it that's uh once you are satisfied with the results you can even go and delete the the original file because uh, this is going to be uh, a raw file you it, it doesn't have any any particular adjustment you just uh, updated the camera model so you can easily delete this and just keep the the new file uh, because this one will have all the all the film simulations and it doesn't it makes no sense to keep both uh, uh, raw files there it, so there it is um, i hope you enjoyed this if you find it interesting please hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting capture one and fujifilm videos see you next time bye